Hi all, it's Thanksgiving. Uh, let's make some uh, turkey roast for Thanksgiving. And uh, for turkey roast, let's see what we need here. We need a turkey that is about 12 to 14 pounds. I have cleaned the turkey thoroughly and make sure there is nothing inside these pockets. You should be able to see through this uh, pocket um, from neck to the bottom. So clean it thoroughly and then see if there, there is a packet of uh, um, the internal organs of this turkey. So there was this packet. I've kept it separately. This I'm going to use it in a gravy. To stuff inside the turkey, I would need some chopped onion. And uh, I'm going to crush this garlic and chopped onion and a green apple to stuff inside the turkey. And apart from that, I'm going to use these herbs, greens. That is sage. This is a living sage. I'm going to use um, half of this um, one count pack of sage. It must be a bunch. And also, I'm going. I'm going to use rosemary. And this as well. I'm going to use half of it. And and I'm going to use thyme. So, these are thyme leaves. I'm going to use half of it. And apart from that, we need one stick of butter. And I have some um, cloves and cinnamon stick. I have a small piece of cinnamon stick and about three cloves. And I have pepper powder here, crushed pepper powder. I would add if required more from here. And I have some uh, chili flakes, dry chili flakes. And I'm going to use some paprika. Or you could use chili powder. And I'm going to use some Italian seasoning. Which has um, dry, which has dry oregon and thyme and rosemary and sage. And, and I'm going to use some garlic powder and salt to taste and some ginger garlic paste. And also I'm going to use one lime juice. Let's see how we uh, prepare all the spices, dry spices together. I have uh, paprika here and I have pepper. A tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of uh, garlic powder, juice from one lime, salt to taste, and Italian seasoning, one tablespoon, ginger garlic paste, one tablespoon, uh, red chili flakes, half tablespoon, um, half tablespoon pepper, and uh, half teaspoon cinnamon and clove. And I have a melted butter here. It's slightly melted and I'm going to add all these spices in, into this bowl and mix everything. I have mixed all the spices into this butter uh, and there is li lime juice as well. And I'm going to, um, I have uh, poked with the fork all over this turkey. I've kept this turkey in a baking pan or roasting pan. Uh, you could use any uh, glass pan or roasting pan. I've used this one, the foil um, pan, and I'm going to apply uh, this paste all over this turkey on both the sides. I've applied the paste all over the turkey on both the sides. Make sure you have touched all the uh, surface of the turkey. So the butter gives nice golden color to the turkey. And uh, in, the, in the cavity here, I'm going to uh, add the rosemary, thyme and sage. and um, in, in goes uh, the green apple at the very inside. I'm going to add this butter inside. I'm adding this butter inside. In goes garlic.
in goes sage in goes rosemary in goes thyme and in goes uh, some chopped onion try to stuff it in as much as possible from both the ends from the top end from the top end as well as at the bottom end try to uh, stuff it in tuck the uh, turkey wings at the bottom under the shoulder try to tuck it in at the back and this one too at the back just hold the wings and tuck them in and on top of these two feet try to place um, potatoes whole potato i'm using russet potato here Like this, cover your turkey with the foil. Uh, cover the roasting pan with the foil, and say night night to your turkey, and put it in the refrigerator until you bake it uh, before um, uh, for the th Thanksgiving dinner. Thanks for watching. Do try this marination uh, of turkey. Um, bye for now. Uh, um, uh, half hours. It's been three and half hour, and it's uh, the turkey has been roasting at three twenty five. Uh, it's been three and a half hour. I'm going to baste with the turkey stock that you see in the pan at the bottom. And the, I guess the potato is also getting cooked there. Uh, I'm going to baste it with the turkey sauce there. And all this that you see here, uh, the broccoli, carrot and the leftover herbs are going to go at the side of this turkey for last half hour. And it goes into the oven for another half an hour this is how the turkey looks guys uh, I'll, I'll go this is done now and uh, I cooked it for another half an hour after three and a half hour so for about 12 to 14 pounds of turkey I have taken about four hours uh, about four hours of cooking time at 325 Fahrenheit uh, I'll keep it covered with the foil until it is ready to be carved thanks for watching do try this turkey recipe bye for now